Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone had a wonderful Thanksgiving. I know I did. Um, I have a ton of leftovers. I don't know about you, but I do. And I thought I'd come up with something a little different to share with you on how you can use your Thanksgiving leftovers. I'm gonna make a Thanksgiving leftovers crescent ring. I've never done it before. So come along with me on this journey. We just need a few simple Thanksgiving leftovers. So today for our crescent ring, I'm using turkey meat, obviously, shredded, cranberry sauce, mashed potatoes, stuffing, and crescent rolls. Okay, so we need 16 crescent rolls. So this package has eight. I have another package. Okay. All right, now the fun starts. You wanna lay your crescent rolls out in a circle and you want to overlap the wide ends and you wanna keep going around in a circle, as much of a circle as you can until you get to the end. This is almost looking like a starburst. All right, so I have one left over. This is gonna be interesting. Okay, this doesn't look perfect, but that's all right. And I've gone ahead and I've smashed or I've, I've kind of pressed the edges together so that they seal so that we can put our filling around like this. First, we'll start with our mashed potatoes. Now, we all know how mashed potatoes get <laughs> when you put them in the refrigerator for a while. But these will turn out, I promise. Now I'm gonna take a spatula and just press down the mashed potatoes to the crescent rolls. There we go. Now we're gonna add our stuffing. And it's okay if some of it falls off. I'm not worried about that. And it's okay if you get some up here because it's all going to the same place. I'm gonna take my spatula and just try and secure the stuffing to the mashed potatoes. Now I'm gonna take our turkey and I'm gonna place that on top of our stuffing and mashed potatoes. I'm using the dark meat today, but not all people like this, so feel free to substitute or you know use the white meat, that's fine. Just pile that in on there. And the same thing, although I think I'm just gonna do this with my fingers, pressing the turkey to adhere it to the stuffing and the mashed potatoes, like that. Now I'm gonna take our cranberry and I'm gonna put that over the turkey. I have about a half cup here. If I run out, I can always use more. And this is my homemade cranberry sauce, by the way, and I think I have a short video showing how to make this. It's really good, it's um, cranberry orange sauce. And it's always a hit at my Thanksgiving table. Now, gonna take our crescent rolls and we're gonna pull them up and over, kind of tucking the pointed end underneath so that it seals. All right, this isn't looking half bad. All right, I think this turned out looking pretty nice. Now the last thing we need to do is brush the top of our crescent ring with some nice melted butter. This butter will help the crescent rolls turn a really nice golden brown, which is what we want. And off to the oven we go. I've set my oven for 375 and we're gonna bake this for about 20 minutes or until the top is golden brown. Look how it turned out. I am really, really happy with this. I think it's gonna taste delicious. I can't wait to plate this up. Thanks for joining me today, everyone. I had a good time, I hope you did too. I think this Thanksgiving leftovers crescent ring turned out really well, and I'm hoping that you can add it to your recipes for Thanksgiving leftovers. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment, and subscribe. Have a great day, everyone, and I'll see you next time.